Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. Today we're going to do the three needle cast off. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Three needle cast off. Sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? You only usually knit with two needles. But for this cast off you use three needles. It means that you have two pieces of knitting sitting on two needles and then you have a third needle which you use to cast off. Now, I will explain to you how you compromise if you don't have three needles the same size. There are a couple of ways you can fix that. So I'll show you that in the demo and how you can just shift your knitting onto different needles or use a different needle for casting off. Also, I will show you how wonderful it looks afterwards because when you finished casting off, you actually end up with a smoother seam. It looks really nice and neat. Some people don't like casting off and then sewing together afterwards. So if you can, you can leave your knitting on the needles and use a three needle casting off instead of seaming. Let's get straight to it. Let's do the three needle cast off. With the three needle cast off, we have three needles. I thought <laughs> that was kind of predictable. But the idea is that we have two pieces of knitting being joined up. If you don't have three needles the same size, then you can do a bit of a trick with it. You can put one of the pieces on a smaller needle, or you can cast off with a larger needle that's just one size larger. So if you're casting off with a four millimeter needle, you cast off with the third needle um, being a 4.5 millimeter or a five millimeter at the most. With large needles like I'm using here, I would try and get them all to be a similar size or move the stitches onto a smaller needle and then cast off with the 10 millimeter. What we have here is two pieces of knitting. They are stocking stitch, so it looks like the knit stitch one side and it's the smooth purl stitch on the other side. Now, what we're going to do is hold them right sides together. And that means for this piece of knitting that we're seeing the smooth side as the right side. So the smooth sides need to face each other. And now we're going to cast off. So you can see I have two different needles there. They are both 10 millimeters and they're gonna sit there quite happily with the needles on them. And I'm gonna cast off with the third needle. Now they're both still adjoined to the balls but I'm only going to use one to cast off. So we'll just move that one over there and we're going to sit here with the second ball getting ready to cast off. Now, what we need to do is sit here as if we're about to cast off, as we usually do, but the difference is we go into the first stitch on the first needle and then we go into the first stitch on the second needle and we knit them together. We knit them as if we were knitting knit two together actually so look at that it was very simple into the first stitch on the first needle into the second stitch on the second needle knit them pull that needle through and then drop them both off of that needle do the same thing with the second stitch into the first stitch into the first stitch on the next needle knit them pull that through and drop them off of that needle. Now, we can use one needle to just do this. Use your cast off method, pull the first stitch over the second stitch. There you go, it's that simple. And you can see the right sides are facing each other and very conveniently, we have the same number of stitches on the first needle as on the second needle. So then we're going to knit the next stitch. First needle, into the first stitch on the second needle, knit them, pull that loop through, drop them off there, and then we use one of these needles to just pull that first stitch over the second stitch. And then we carry on doing this all the way along the row. It feels a bit awkward with these large needles holding them both at the same time, but you'll get used to it as you keep going. And it's usually, this is the shoulder, of a cardigan, something like that, or a shoulder of a jumper. Um, it might be a cushion cover. So you haven't got to do so many stitches that it feels a bit uncomfortable. There we go, into the next stitch, knit that, 
pull them both off of the needles and then move that one over there. And if you feel this is a bit tight, this is why you might want to use us just one size larger to cast off. There we go. So I'm going to carry on all the way along this row. And then I'll show you what we do at the end. It starts to feel awkward at the end of the row because you're running out of stitches and it's difficult to hold them with so few stitches. But just persevere, take it one stitch at a time and you will get there and remember to cast off in between stitches knit those first stitches together and cast off the first one knit those two stitches together and cast off the next one and then we've got to knit these two stitches together as well okay so into the first stitch and into the first stitch knit them together and cast off. Okay, so we're at the end of the row. Give myself a decent length because a lot of the time, this is where you'll be um, sewing down a seam or something. Just as you're finishing. So that's what it looks like at the top. And this means that it's neater and you're, um, making a seam that doesn't show so much um, rather than casting off and then sewing them together it's nice and stretchy as well both ways not a big deal and look at that it's relatively flat there's not a lot to it so this is a really good idea if you are knitting two cushion cover sides something like that you can easily put the stitches on a stitch holder um, from one side and then put them back on a needle to cast off. There you go. So that is your three needle cast off. That was great, wasn't it? So you now know how to do the three needle cast off and when it's useful. And if you like the look of those needles, those are the needles that are in my shop. I love them actually. They are the birch wood needles from Knit Pro and I use them for quite a lot of my projects now. They are not too heavy like some wooden needles and they're a really comfortable size. I use those 10 millimeter ones for um, my beginner projects that are in my shop as well, which you can get in kits or in pattern form. And like I said, you can get the needles separately too. Right, I will see you again soon. Thanks so much for joining me today. Do subscribe and click on the bell for notifications YouTube will then let you know whenever there's a new, new video here from Knit with Hannah. That's every Tuesday, every week. Bye for now. Have a great week. Happy knitting.